and in in here we're just going to type Google. Like I said, you can download each part separately and then integrate. But in this case, I'm just going to write WAMP here. Click enter, and as you can see, the first thing that comes out is WAMP server. Right. So you can see this. That's just one example. There's so many different um, app integrated applications. So this is all in one. It's already integrated. You just download it as an executable file and just basically install. In my case, I've got a 64-bit, so I'm going to download this here. So we've got a little warning here. It says to you, you must install Visual C++ 2010 uh, for this to work. So in my case, I've got 64-bit. I'm going to just click on here. I need to install that first. It takes me to the Microsoft website. I click download save file. So now we're faced with a little agreement as usual we just say I have read and accepted the license yes um, I'm not really keen on that so I'm just going to leave that off and I'm just going to say install. Ok that's finished now I can go back to the same WAMP server right, so I'm back here again now I've installed um, what's required I can then move into this so I'm going to click on here you can download and then it should start to download in one second save file so yes yeah, about 12 seconds to go and it should be all downloaded ok all done all I do is I click on that file run it accept the agreement um, here is basically where it's going to install the WAMP and um, the local host and basically once I start running that it will, should convert my computer into a web server ok now it's uh, now it's installed it's actually asking me to select a browser now by default it selects Explorer part of Windows but in my case like I recommended we're going to be using Firefox so if you don't have Firefox I would highly recommend that you start downloading it now before you continue and make sure you know where you installed it I'm just going to look for it and uh, select it so let's have a look here go to I go to the drive C first of all go into program files let's have a look if I've seen here Mozilla no it's not in here it's in probably in this one here Mozilla Firefox so we find it under program files x86 so it's installed here I'm going to click on that and I just select the application Firefox and it just finishes the installation um, here I'm just going to say localhost and uh, email address I'm just going to keep it as it is and it says launch WAMP server now I'm going to say yep let's launch it ok so you can see down here I've got a little menu and I could just basically go into this the directory if I wanted to this is where you will put your PHP files just in here so WAMP www in that domain, in that directory I mean um, but what I want to do is just first of all I want to just uh, take you through some basics so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop all services it's gone red now I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to click on apache and httpd.config the reason why I'm taking you inside here is I want to show you something for future uh, videos, especially when we go into um, MVC and model view control and so on, I'm going to use um, mod or rewrite. Um, so I'm going to look for it here and make sure it's enabled first of all. So mod rewrite, where is it? Um, as you can see, it's got that hash there. When the hash is there, basically it's disabled. Now to enable it you just delete that and then you save it. Uh, now you're probably 
really confused at this stage and looking at all this and saying whoa what's all that um, we'll, we'll talk about Apache more in detail in other videos but in this video we're really concerned about programming in PHP you don't really need to know all this but for the benefit of future videos we're gonna need this module to be on so that's why I've this you know enabled it by deleting that hash and then once we do that we saved we have to start the server uh, if the server was on it's a common mistake if the server was on already and then you've made the change and saved it it won't take effect until you actually restart the server so I'm gonna start all services again if we go back here look it's gone green okay that means it's on Right to see if the server's on, all we do is say local host at the top here, and just click enter, and it tells you here WAMP server. So it takes you to that straight away. Uh, these are just extra stuff. Um, there's no projects here at all. There's nothing here. Um, if I wanted to, maybe go to here www. Nothing's there. So we need to create a project. So we need to do something here in order for us to maybe like say something like, you know, Yumacom and then it would go to that directory and then we'll have an application running here. So what can we do? What do we have here? We've got PHP info so we can see the information on our system, you know, compiler, you know. PHP my admin is a handy tool for for actually seeing um, you know MySQL database creating a database and so on um, I'm going to click on admin enter logs in this is a little test it's empty so yeah we can create a database from here we could do all the nice stuff later on but for now let's go back to localhost we need to create a project and start doing some examples to learn PHP so what do we need next we need the integrated development environment like I said so we're just going to return to Google again let's have a look at Google friendly Google 